prehistoric creatures caught on camera from the richest. How have we not watched this? We have watched this, right? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm curious. Fuck it. I don't care. Damn, okay. The world would be a very different place it if kind of slap with dinosaurs. And we're not talking about Jurassic Park <coughs> creations, but real prehistoric creatures. Too bad they're long gone. Or are they? Some people believe that beasts like the Megalodon, Sabertooth Tiger, and even the Loch Ness Monster are really out there. And they Okay, Loch Ness Monster and Megalodon I've heard. Are there people who actually believe that the Sabertooth Tiger is still out there? That's not real, right? There's not people who actually think that there's a Sabertooth Tiger, right? Just so we're clear, that he just threw that in there. You know, that was like a compliment sandwich where you like compliment someone then insult them then compliment them again. You know, he said something that people actually think, something people don't, and then something people actually think. So you ignore the one in the middle. Just so we're clear. On our planet, while they may no longer rule the world, <coughs> these prehistoric animals lurk in the most remote corners of the planet. Do but they? Just how convincing is the evidence that these legendary creatures are still out there today? Not that the convincing. The Megalodon was the world's largest shark. It roamed our oceans <laughs> okay. for around 28 million Had years to ago expect until it. it disappeared about 1.6 million years ago. A lot of footage of a potential Megalodon has been proven false, but there have been numerous accounts of giant sharks up to 60 feet long. Rock Cape Town sighting. Mockumentary. Boom. Been proven false, but there have been Basking numerous shark. accounts of giant sharks up to 60 feet long, rocking fishing boats and disappearing. That's a in movie. Deep. In 1875, two megalodon teeth that were only 10 to 15 thousand years old were discovered during a trawling by the HMS Challenger. Poorly dated teeth. Is it possible that the megalodon exists in an unexplored area of the ocean, like nope. the Marianas Trench? No. Nope. Without proof, it's anybody's guess. But based on all these accounts, it's not anybody's guess. No, it doesn't. It obviously does not. There's definitely a giant shark out there somewhere. And no, there's it could well, be a megalodon. Okay. Or perhaps something much worse. A please. There's like whale sharks and basking sharks. That's about it. Plesiosaur is a marine reptile that existed about 65.5 oh million years ago. Oh boy, the dinosaur With nerds are gonna get angry. Neck and paddle-like limbs. The plesiosaurs are often thought to still be around today in the form of the Loch Ness monster. Are they often That's right. thought Girl that? Well, Nessie isn't just any legendary sea monster. If she exists, she's probably a prehistoric plesiosaur. The famous surgeon's photograph of the elusive sea. Yeah, that's the one. This is what everyone was saying is a whale penis. <laughs> it's a whale just going, hey, look at me. You know? <laughs> and honestly, considering how small, like, the scale looks, I could see it. But some possible proof was found in April of 1977, when a Japanese boat snagged a large carcass off the coast of New Zealand. The creature was about 33 feet or 10 meters long like and an weighed 4,000 pounds. That's an orfish. That's 1,814 kilograms. It's literally but an orfish. because orfish. the carcass smelled so bad and was taking up too much space, the fishermen had to drop it back into the ocean. The Congo has their own myths of a legendary monster. It's called the Mokele Mbembe, and it's a large reptile-like creature with a long neck and tail. It's said to roar aggressively if approached by humans. <laughs> some even say it has a single horn which it uses to kill elephants. Though some of these tales seem exaggerated, there is some evidence oh, that Oh, do some of them seem exaggerated? If he thinks that this is exaggerated, but the Megalodon and the Loch Ness Monster were, were, you know, regular level, then this must be insanely exaggerated. Yes, the monster could be a living sauropod. A family of dinosaurs that included the Brock. said it had teeth or a horn that attacked people. You know, sauropods are vegetarians, right? Like hardcore. But tales around the Congo suggest that this dinosaur still lives deep within its forests. Some well. of the most compelling evidence is the large three clawed footprint recorded by a French missionary in 1776. Since then, a number of others have recorded similar footprints, but none have any idea which living animals they could belong to. The saber toothed tiger is more than just a relic of the Ice Age. In fact, the best evidence that the saber toothed tiger could still be alive is that scientists have already been proven wrong about when it went extinct. Expert God damn it. Dire wolves aren't just fantasy creatures from Game of Thrones. God they were damn real it. wolves that existed from about 125,000 to 10,000 years ago. There are some pretty they big wolves now, but not dire wolves level. Bolivia. They also had bigger heads, jaws, and teeth. They could take down bison. I, 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 I like understand that like with the ocean, when you're talking about like undiscovered area, it's easy to believe that there are things in that undiscovered area that you don't know about. 
Like I could see how a person would would believe that, right? But like on land, like a saber toothed tiger, really? Like a a wolf? Like really? Why? It's just like spin a wheel of extinct animals and just say that that one must be alive and you could come up with some kind of evidence evidence a bizarre wolf was captured in montana and many believed that it couldn't be a normal gray wolf until dna testing said that it probably was but another sighting in america of a very large wolf attacking a dog has no solid explanation since the wolves usually show up when least expected it's hard for a scientists small to study dog. them and test their dna the size of the bone meant that the bird's wingspan had to be over 12 feet or 3.7 meters. The That's bones were later confirmed to be those of a teratorn. Hmm. These large birds could weigh over 170 pounds or 77 kilograms. A similar teratorn found in Argentina has the largest wingspan of any bird at over 24 feet. That's 7.3 meters. It might have gone extinct 10... Prehistoric creatures caught on camera. First of all, like none of these have been caught on camera. And he's just talking about an extinct bird now. These videos really fall apart as they go on. Like, they start off and it's like, okay, yeah, fine, sure. You know, people come up with that evidence and there's like fake shit on the internet. And then they just start listing things that aren't even remotely related to the video. 10,000 years ago, but sightings of giant birds suggest that the Teratorn might... What do you mean, sightings of giant birds? ...extinct 10,000 years ago, but sightings of giant birds... Bro, that's a normal bird. How are you going to use the sky as scale? Remember when I made that whole point about how you can't use water as scale for animals because it doesn't work like that? You can't use the sky for scale either. Oh, look at those clouds. Yeah, the bird must be huge. It's not like the bird is right next to the camera and the clouds are very far away. That bird must be at least, you know, 500 feet long. Bro, he's half the size of the cloud. Whoa, bro, that's a big bird. American Indian lore is filled with stories of monster birds that carry away human <laughs> victims. They often How is it call flying? Them <laughs> what is what is Indian the anatomy of that? With stories of monster birds. How are you propelling yourself like that? That carry away human. There's victims. no shot. They often called them thunderbirds because their flapping wings made a sound like rolling thunder. <laughs> He's but flying in so slow. Times, people have still seen giant to f to be that stable and to fly that slow. You need to flap your wings extremely fast. There's a reason that hummingbirds have crazy ass wings. It's because that's the only way you can get that kind of control. Also, seriously, the Megatherium was an elephant-sized. No one believes the Megatherium is alive. Who caught a Megatherium yeah, on camera? Right. It was the second largest land mammal. Who right caught a Megatherium on camera? And could weigh four tons. Those who live in the Amazon rainforest have long passed down stories of a dangerous beast with matted fur and large, sharp claws. He just said it was in the sloth family. What kind of dangerous beast sleeps 21 hours a day? This lizard is the largest lizard to have ever existed. It's called Megalania. And it lived about 2 million years ago in Australia and went extinct nearly 23,000 years ago. The largest Megalania was likely over 35 feet or 10.6 meters long and weighed dope. up to 8,300 pounds. I didn't even know That's this. Lizardzilla. Fuck. Tales of a living Megalania have been passed down <laughs> in Australian... <laughs> that is the worst, like, movie. It's not even CGI. I don't even know what to call it. Movie magic I've ever seen. They just like green screened an iguana. The, predator. the Amazon is home to many beasts like giant snakes that could swallow you whole. But the biggest snake ever is Titanoboa. An anaconda. It's actually the appropriately named Titanoboa. But some people have noticed giant snakes, and they could be the last few Titanoboas left on Earth. There's a famous snake in Maine called Wessie. When she was first spotted, <laughs> she was said to be as large as a truck. A few days after the. That is bigger than a truck. First of all, it's clearly photoshopped. It's just that obvious like mask blend where you just slightly color correct the one layer to blend it into the other. Like I can literally show you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how we're going to make one. All right. Choose a body of water. Someone choose like a lake or an ocean or something. OK, the Nile River. OK, and then we're just going to look up crab transparent background. All right, let's get a crab. Nile River. Perfect. Yep, this is good. This is good. 
And we're gonna make a Crabzilla spotting in the in the Nile River. Are you guys ready? So we're gonna go ahead and add a layer. We're gonna add the crab, okay? Go ahead and rotate them here. Make them the size of an entire city. Uh, and then we're gonna go to this filter, blend mode, something like that. Soft light. And boom, we have created a sighting of Crabzilla in the Nile River. Now post it to the internet and boom, Crabzilla is real. I could do that in about 10 seconds. I could pump these out at a rate of one Crabzilla sighting every 10 seconds. Wow, he's just lurking in the waters in the Nile River. Crazy. Point being, images like this are stupid and so easy to fake. Experts don't think it's possible for a snake to get this big in today's climate. Does that mean it has to be a prehistoric snake that's not only huge, but also ancient? One of it isn't possible for a snake to get huge in this climate, so it must be a prehistoric snake. Take me through that thought process. Someone says it can't, a huge snake cannot live in this climate. Well, then it must be an old snake. No, 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 sir, sir. A huge snake just, it couldn't live. It, do, it doesn't matter when it's from. Oh, so it's an ancient snake. No, sir. <laughs> sir, a huge snake cannot live in this of climate. The most mysterious prehistoric creatures is the Gigantopithecus, a distant relative to the orangutan. Okay. They stood at a whopping 10 feet. But other than a lot of grainy videos, <laughs> many of which That's have been Chewbacca, debunked, bro. there's not a lot to go on about Bigfoot. If Bigfoot really is out there, and he's a Gigantopithecus, he could be the most mysterious and elusive creature to have ever existed. This is the Garial, a species of crocodile characterized by its weird long snout. They grow up to about 19 feet or 6 what? meters long and weigh up to 352 pounds, about 160 kilograms. But despite being so old, Garials are currently in danger of going extinct due to overfishing and habitat. What happened? <laughs> I feel like that transition was so not smooth. The music just ran randomly changed and all of a sudden he's talking about whatever the fuck this thing is. This is like the only real alive animal. And then it's also like prehistoric creatures caught on camera. I love when you take a real existing animal and say it's caught on camera. Like if I go in my backyard and like take a picture of an, a, a, just a regular soldier ant and I'm like, soldier ant, ancient, caught on camera. I mean, it's like, okay, I guess technically, but like, why? It did go from Bigfoot to a real living crocodile.